With the increase of publicity against police misconduct as well as the growing sentiment against the Second Amendment as well as people concealed carrying within the U.S., a lot of people are concerned about whether or not it is legal for you to actually videotape police officers. And a lot of times we're actually now seeing police officers actually going after people who do engage in filming them during the course of what they are doing. So in this video, we're going to be talking about whether or not it is legal for you to actually film police. But real quick before we jump into this video, I want to thank a couple of the sponsors, the first being Thorson Custom. Thorson Custom provides so much more than California compliant rifle parts and features, but they also help advocate for our Second Amendment rights and actually target getting rid of those laws that actually make their parts relevant in the state of California. So they're an amazing company, and if you'd be interested in taking a look at them, I'll put a link to Thorson down in the detail section. I also want to thank Got Your Six for just $2.99 a month. You get access to a lot of amazing things on their app. This includes things like the Initiate Freedom button. So if your Second Amendment rights are ever violated through something like a red flag law, you can click this button and what is an amber alert for firearms owners goes out to members of your group. So it's a really neat app and if you'd be interested in taking a look at it, also put a link to them down in the detail section. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the legality surrounding filming police, specifically in the state of California, because many of you are familiar, I am a licensed and practicing attorney in the state of California. So that is my practice area. Now I want to mention this is no way legal advice. If you um, have a specific scenario or something happened to you specifically, you need to reach out to legal counsel. This is just some things that I think is important for people to know generally. And this is a hot topic and has popped up mainly through the mainstream media and things like that because of the highly publicized incidences like the George Floyd instance and stuff like that. So first and foremost, courts have recognized the legality and your First Amendment right to actually film individuals, including police officers. So the first thing I want to note here is that there are some instances where it is legal for a California citizen to film a police officer, but then there are also other circumstances where it is illegal and where the California Penal Code prohibits you from filming a police officer. So first and foremost, let's look at California Penal Code section 647. And what this penal code says is that the audio recording um, and potentially videotaping a police officer um, with a concealed camera, this includes concealed uh, cell phones as well because we have cameras and video cameras on our cell phones now, um, is actually a misdemeanor in the state of California. So if you were trying to film a police officer but is concealed under this uh, penal code 647, that is illegal. So that's the first thing I want to note. There's this distinction in California's law about filming while it's concealed and filming while it is open. So we just established that it is illegal for you to film a police officer while the video camera or the camera or your phone is concealed. But what about when your camera is open and obvious to the police officer? Under this instance, when your video camera, your phone, whatever is open and you're openly filming a police officer, generally you are within the legal rights, your legal rights within the legal realm to film police officers. Again, though, there are some carve outs that gives protection or additional protection to police officers. When you look at California's laws about filming police officers, you have to film them while they're in the course of their duties. You can't follow a police officer while they're in a Walmart shopping. They're not in the course of their duties. They're not performing their job. So in that instance, even though you're filming them openly, California law would not protect you in that, in that instance because they are not actually functioning as police officers when they're just shopping or even when they're off duty. You can't film a police officer while they are off duty. Another important thing when you're talking about filming police officers, you cannot interfere with them while they are performing their duties. So if in the course of filming the police officer, you are interfering with them and you're preventing them from actually performing their job, that is also illegal. So even though you are generally allowed to openly videotape police officers, if you're actually interfering with them, that is a no-go. And there's one more thing you wanna look at as far as analysis in your factually specific situation. And that is whether you are filming the police officer in a public place or in a private place. There's a huge distinction under California law about public property and private property. Generally, California law protects you and allows you to film police officers while on public property in public places but it does not protect you in private places. When you look at public property, those are things that you're very familiar with, streets, sidewalks, um, public parks, things like that. And when you're looking at private property, you think of things like private businesses or private homes, things like that. In those situations, the owner of the private property kind of gets to set the rules. So if they have general rules about filming, they get to dictate what you can and cannot do. And one last thing I wanna note as far as recording, but it kind of goes to the audio aspect of this. And that is California Penal Code 632. And what that deals with is recording private conversations or confidential conversations. California's law does not allow you to uh, record 
private or confidential um, conversations. You actually have to have consent to actually record those. So in those situations where maybe you think I'm in a public place, um, it's open and obvious that I'm filming a police officer, but if there is a confidential conversation that's going on or a private telephone conversation or something like that, you can't actually film a police officer. In general, that penal code that we talked about, 632, would apply and you actually have to get consent for that aspect of it. And so like I said, there's a lot of nuance to this and based on what's going on in your factual situation can really determine whether or not what you're doing in filming police officers is legal or not. Now I wanna talk about some practical things and I think there are some main practical considerations you have to take into account if you are actually going to try to film police officers. And the first thing I wanna mention is the actual interaction between you and the police officer. If you are going to actually film a police officer here in California, you need to let them know that under your First Amendment rights as established um, by court cases and under California's penal code, you are allowed to legally film them and that you are asserting that First Amendment right to film them, that you are actually filming them. Again, make sure that the recording device or the phone is open to obvious and let them know that you're not interfering with them and you need to let them know that, hey, if they need more space to perform their duties, just let you know and you will give them more space. Another practical thing I wanted to mention has to do with there is a very high likelihood that when you're interacting with the police officer, they're going to probably ask for your ID. And I'm not gonna get specifically into the ID laws, but just understand generally, unless you are being detained or arrested, you are not required to provide an ID to a police officer, except there are exceptions, of course, if you're pulled over. In those instances, you have to provide an ID or a driver's license, but um, generally, let's say you're just on the street um, you're filming a police officer if something's going on and they walk up to you and ask for your ID, ask them if you're being arrested or detained. If you're not, you are not required to provide an ID. Another practical thing to understand is that there is a likelihood that while you're in the course of filming police officers, they are probably gonna come up to you, ask you to stop filming and tell you that filming them is against the law. In those situations, you just need to let them know that under California Penal Code, you are allowed to film them as long as you are following those general rules that we talked about in this video open and obvious. You're not inf interfering with them. You're filming them while they're in the course of their duties. You're in a public place, things like that. So as long as you actually meet those uh, requirements outlined in the California Penal Code, you are within your legal rights to film them. And for them to say that is illegal to do so is just inaccurate. And the last thing that I want to mention that I think is very critical and is important for you guys to know is that Although what we talked about in this video, where we talked about you are legally permitted to film police officers under those circumstances, there is still a likelihood that you may be arrested or detained. There are tons of examples, not just in California, but across the entire US where individuals are within their legal rights of filming police officers, but they are still arrested, they are still detained. And in that situation, even though you know you are within your legal rights to be filming them, if a police officer says that they are putting you under arrest, they're detaining you, do not resist arrest. Just, uh, just let them know that, hey, you were legally filming them under your First Amendment rights. What they are doing is illegal. They should not be arresting you. But again, do not resist arrest. Don't try to get into a legal battle argument with them. Practically, what could happen is you could still get arrested or detained. And so I think that's something you need to take into consideration. And so for me personally, for the situation to warrant me actually filming police officers, there would have to be something very serious going on where I say, hey, I'm going to take that risk where I know there is the potential that even though I am legally within my rights to film police officers right now, I might still be running the risk of being arrested or detained. So like I mentioned, it would have to be a circumstance or situation that would really warrant me taking that risk. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I'll try to answer the best of my ability. Also, if you like this video and like to support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to hit that notification bell because that helps the channel analytics. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and never forget this nation was built by armed scholars and this nation will be maintained by armed scholars.